going to do a quick video and show you guys how to spray bomb your AR-15 or any gun for that matter. Um, and be using Rust-Oleum. This stuff's pretty nice. It works really well. Seems to be pretty durable. And that's kind of what you want for something like this. I get a, question, a lot of questions about this. It seems like everyone really wants to know how to spray bomb their guns. This is honestly my first one I've ever done. Usually I just get Cerakote. This was a cheap build that I threw together. Um, I just ended up upgrading the rail on the site. Uh, for this specifically, I want to do an iron sight only build. Uh, so this is kind of what I came up with. I wanted something more old style. So with that being said, let's get right to it. It's pretty simple. You take spray paint and you spray the gun. So there's probably better ways to do this. You can hang these. Uh, so nice about you got little straps here. You can hang them and do it, which is probably a much better way. I don't have a place to hang it right now. So I'm just going to throw it here in the box and do it this way. Your first step is going to want to clean it. You want to wipe everything down, make sure there's no dirt, debris, um, oil on it because it's not going to stick then. Uh, I went ahead and wiped it down with some alcohol and that cleaned up pretty good. So then you can go ahead and tape everything up. I taped the mag well up. You don't want paint in here because that can uh, mess with reloads, make your magazines tight, and then you want to cover up your muzzle device. Just the places you don't want it inside the gun. Not a huge deal, honestly, because when you go shoot it, it's going to burn it off anyway, um, but... Might as well not have an issue uh, later on. So we just tape those things up real quick, and you're ready to go. So you're going to take your paint, prep it up, and then you're going to simply do the design you want. I'm just going to coat the whole thing and then do distress later, um, but you guys can use different tools and, and different things to make it have different designs. I'm, just gonna, I'm going to simply just spray it. And you want to do a light coat the first time. You don't want to just cover it, which this is doing a really good job of covering anyway. And there we go. That's going to be my first coat. I'll probably come up here on top and do a real quick coat like this. And that's going to be all for the first coat. You're going to want to let that dry. Now that you got the first side done, you want to wait till it dries and then flip it over to the next side and spray that one as well. Now once that dries, you just want to hit the spots that you missed. There's a couple spots right back here that need it. So we'll hit those real quick. And then uh, your safety selector switch, which I'll do it when I flip back over. Make sure you put it onto fire and then safety and spray it both times or you'll have a black line. So just do a quick touch up of all the spots that you might have missed. The rail is the hard spot because you got like angles and whatnot. So hit that a second time if you need to. And like I said, the, the whole point of this one is to be distressed, so I really don't care if there's some black showing. Um, it doesn't have to be super thick on there. Uh, we're going to distress this a little bit later. The barrel's going to burn a lot of this off probably too. So just touch everything up that you need, some of the angles that you didn't hit, and you'll be good to go. Now everything is dry and complete. We want to do some distressing. Uh, it's a little bit lighter than I was shooting for, uh, but not a big deal. I was going for more of an OD green. Uh, this looks more like baby puke but something we could change later, not a big deal. So for distressing, most guys will just run this and uh, let it naturally distress. I'm too impatient for that. I'm just gonna use this and scratch some of it away and distress it myself. Uh, I've never done this before, so we'll see how this goes. But I figured do some spots like up here and, and some, some of your average wear spots. We'll just kind of scratch away a little bit of the paint, get some of that distressed look to it, and then uh, We'll see what we can pull up. If it looks like crap, good thing about spray paint is you can just repaint it. Not a big deal. So scratch away what you can. As you can see, it's already coming off a little bit. I don't want to do too much because uh, I do want... Oh, wow, that actually came off really easily. That looks really good. Because um, I do want some of this to come off naturally. So the best thing that looks nice is if you hit stuff like this, just scrapes away a little bit of that paint, leaving some of that black behind it. So that looks really sharp. So hitting like a lot of your buttons like that so it has that really worn look and that's exactly what I'm looking for so you know you want to hit the things that you would touch a lot I guess if you're trying to get this to uh, wear quicker than than normal use now for the handguard the goal is to get the edges to be black 
So like these holes here for your quick detach points, you just want to kind of circle like that and that'll get those edges a little worn and then you just want to run this down just like that and that's going to wear that really well. Push it in and it'll give you that look right there and that's the exact look. Let me blow that off real quick. And that's the exact look that I'm looking for. Uh, something that's just slightly greened and hued and that makes this baby puke color look a lot better. Uh, here you go as well. So it just gives you that look of it was painted a long time ago, even though I just painted it. Um, and like I said, it's going to get a lot better as time goes on. Things will wear more naturally. Uh, I really like the, how that ended up. You know, you just want to scrape the corners. So the corners are black, all the knobs that you're going to be touching. So you can really do it however you want. I mean, if you guys want more distress, depending on what you guys want, if you want a ton of distress or less distress, now I just need to work here on this stock. I want to have a decent amount of distress here because this is where I'm going to be putting my cheeks. So I kind of want to wear that down a little bit because I don't want a ton of paint right there. But uh, this is kind of the exact look that I was going for. If this is something you guys are interested in doing, go to Walmart and pick up some spray paint, and it's really simple. I know it can be intimidating, a little bit scary to actually spray paint one of your guns, um, but I'm really happy I did it. Maybe Happy I made it baby puke color. Um, but like I said, the best thing about the spray paint is if you don't like it or it turns out bad or you screw something up, you can just spray back over it and fix it. So it's super cheap, super simple to do. Uh, I think this took me, if I wasn't filming, it would have taken me like 15 minutes um, minus dry time. Uh, that's the longest really is waiting for it to dry. So now uh, I can just run this and get it to wear naturally and it'll get an even better look as time goes. So uh, yeah, definitely do this if you guys want to. If you're on the fence, just do it. It's pretty cool and uh, it's pretty easy to reverse because you can just spray paint it black if you don't like it and then it'll go back to its normal color. So recently I've gotten a lot of questions from people asking me how to support the page and uh, before I never really had a way to do it because uh, I didn't have anything set up. I was just doing videos and, and I was enjoying doing it but a lot of people wanted to help and I really appreciated that so I started setting up some stuff with the Vont link. So if you guys want to help the page out, which I really appreciate it, use a link down in the description. It'll take you straight to my website and from there you can use the links to go to other websites like Brownells, Aero Precision, Palmetto State. And then uh, if you purchase stuff through there, it really helps me out. Shows that I'm generating traffic through my links and it gives me a small bit of a commission and kickback. So that just helps me uh, pay for ammo and whatnot, doing all the testing that I do and just ways for me to get better videos for you guys. So I really appreciate it if you guys do it. If not, not a problem. Um, just you guys being here, watching the videos, liking, commenting, sharing, subscribing really helps as well. So if you guys can continue to do that, I really appreciate it guys. Check out my Instagram as well. We do a lot there. Uh, I post every day there. Um, and I appreciate you guys. Thank you very much.